Hi, I'm Yasmin Della Rose, and we are here today at the Handmade Burger Company at the Old Still, where we're going to be catching up with Aaron McLean and making some burgers. So, Aaron, a huge congratulations on signing your new three-year deal here at Peterborough. How does that feel? Amazing. You know, for me, the the fact that the manager's shown the faith in me to to give me a three-year contract, you know, it's, you know, I can't thank him enough. And you know, everyone knows that that Peter was. Peter was my club, you know, this is this is the club that I love and you know for me to, to know that I'm gonna be here for the next three years and, and help the help the first team to improve and, and also help the young younger lads coming through, you know, it's a it's a massive honour for me. Definitely. And would you say it was an easy decision for you to make? Without a shadow. You Definitely. know just to come back to, to Peter Bill was an easy decision. You know, I always knew that, that one day I'd end up back here because, mm. you know, that's what that's what I've always wanted to do. You know, from, from the moment I got here, you know, I always knew that, that one day I'd be back here in, mm. in a coaching capacity. Um, I wasn't sure if it would be so soon. You know, I've, I've only been a coach for a year and, and now I'm back as, as first team coach and, and under 23's manager. So, you know, I, I didn't know that, that this is the, the path I'd be on, but, mm. you know, I, I couldn't be happier and, you know, I can't wait to to really crack on. I mean, huge achievement for, for yourself, but I mean, would you say that one of the deciding factors may have been because of your relationship with, with Darren and Gavin? Did that come into factor? Definitely. I think the, the reason why I'm back at this at this point is because of my relationship with, with the manager. You know, Darren's always been, for me, he was the best manager I worked under. You know, so he's always someone that I looked up to and respected and you know, the fact that he came back to Peterborough and, and brought me back in, mm. you know, that's that was a huge, a huge part of it. And, you know, I've always had a good a good relationship with, with Dara as well. You know, mm. even when I left Peterborough, you know, we'd always talked away from football. So, you know, I think those two factors were, were huge mm. in, in me coming back here and, and hopefully in, in the future as well. Definitely. And I think, you know, how have you found the, you know, sort of, being able to adapt from being a player to now working with Darren in a capacity of being a coach? It's actually been quite easy, you know, because Darren's always been, because he's such an approachable person and he likes to have a laugh and a joke, but when it's work time, it's, it's serious. So as a player, he was exactly the same. You know, as a player, I knew that I could go and knock on his door and if I had an issue with anything, I'd be able to go and speak to him on a serious note. But you know, when it's chill time, we'd we'd have a laugh and a joke. So that side of it, it was almost you know me coming back in, even even after not seeing him for for a few years and whatever, it was almost like I'd just seen him seen him last week. You know, yeah. we kind of just picked back up straight away. And also with Gavin, you know, Gavin, I played with Gavin at Peterborough as well. And again, he is just you know he's got a dry sense of humour, mm. but he's one of the funniest people you you'll ever meet. Mm. So it was just. Coming back into it was, it was like I'd, I'd seen him just, just last week and, you know, it's, it's been such an easy transition. And that's what you want. You want to have that dynamic and you want to have that relationship. I can also see that, you know, you've got, you used to have such a great fan base with, with the Peterborough fans. You know, coming back after all that time and now reconnecting with the fans, how does that feel for you? It's amazing. Amazing. You know, they're the best fans. You know, they've been absolutely unbelievable with me from the moment I walked in and you know I, I had a lot of success at Peterborough mm. so it's easier to, to have a good relationship yeah. with fans when you're successful but you know at this club especially you know the fans were always a huge part of, of everything we did mm. and to be able to come back and like you say reconnect with the fans and help put a good, good team out onto the mm. pitch for them to enjoy, you know, it's, it's massive for me. I've definitely seen a few photos of you down at the training grounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do like a picture. It uh, must be said, I'm always on to Joe to, to get yeah. me pictures. But yeah, listen, it's always nice to, to come back to a place where you're, you're appreciated. And, you know, and my time at Peterborough as a player, I always felt appreciated here. And, you know, now it's, it's kind of yeah. another opportunity for me, to, for me to give something back as well. How does the the kind of the coaching relationship work? Obviously, there's yourself, and obviously you've got Darren, who's the manager. But what roles do you each play in order to succeed and, and progress? So obviously, Darren's the, the first team manager, yeah. so he, he's in charge of everything. Mm -hmm. um, then you've got Gavin, who's the assistant manager. So he him and the manager do they structure the majority of the coaching. Mm -hmm. 
um, and then I'm first team coach. So I'm mainly in charge of the forwards, mm. the forward players and attackers. But you know, we'll there'll be days where we'll all be split. So it might be defenders, midfielders, yeah. strikers. I'll be in charge of of the forward players. And then on a day to day basis, mm. it's just you know we all take. Take, kind of, not take turns, but we all play different parts in in the collective, um, and then also I'm I'm the manager of the 23s, yeah. so I'll be in charge of the youngsters, the development of them in the under 23s, and obviously certain players that the youngster play, young players that are in the first team, you know, we'll be doing extra sessions with them just so that you know, as a young player, I think that the first couple of years, especially, are mm. key in your development. And even once you become a professional, as a young player, your mm. development's still huge. So Darren's keen for us to, to make sure that they don't miss out on any opportunities. So we'll be doing afternoon sessions with those and, you know, that will be, mm. that will be my I department. Think development, like you said, I bet for you that actually seeing that, you know, those players develop throughout the season must be a huge satisfaction for yourself, actually seeing your coaching skills for them to be able to progress. And that's a huge part of why I wanted to be a coach. Mm. You know, a lot of people always said to me, you know, once you finish playing, would you go into agency work or whatever? But, you know, being an agent is is all well and good. You know, you can help players in, in that respect, but I'd rather be out on the grass and helping mm. players develop in that way. And in the way that when I was a youngster, people helped me. Mm. You know, that's that's where I feel I'm going to be yeah. best used, and you know, that's that's why I want to want to be a Definitely. coach. And would you say that this club is a great place for you to start your and develop your coaching career? I don't think there's any better place for me. Mm. You know, it's it's a place that I know so well. I know the people here. It's a really a really close club, and you know, the the majority of the staff are all staff from from when I first mm. joined so many years ago so you know the relationships are key in football you know I think Mm. for any club to be successful it's it's from the person who cleans the dressing rooms all the way up to the owners of the club you know all the way through the club you have to have a unity and a real togetherness Mm. and we've got that at this club and that's why I can see this club definitely being successful again so I don't know about you Aaron but I'm feeling a little bit peckish so we go and grab some food let's do it let's go so the Handmade Bird Company have kindly let us come in and make our own burger. Sinead, you going to take us away? Yes, so you've got your lettuce, always start at the bottom with your lettuce and right. hold everything together. And then after you put your sauce on the top, choose your tap tomatoes, your onions, and then we'll go round to the front and start Perfect. Off right, Aaron, we've got the two buns. What are we going to start off? So we have to start with the lettuce. Don't be afraid to pick the lettuce up, Aaron. Oh, I'm not afraid, don't worry. <laughs> So would you say that you're uh, quite a good cook or...? I'm not bad. I think I'm a pretty good cook. Not bad meaning...? Meaning I do... I do do a lot of cooking. Yeah. Um, I've lived on my own for... since I was like 17, 18. So a lot of pasta and tomato sauce, yeah? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Pasta, literally pasta used to be the the only thing that I'd make. Tomatoes? No, definitely no tomatoes. You don't like tomatoes? No, I hate tomatoes. Are you joking? Uh, Tomatoes are very good for you, thank you very much. uh, Well, I apologise, but I hate tomatoes. So what what sauce are you going to go for? Um, Mexican, we've got the... So what, can you remember what this is? Oh, I'm not too sure what that one is. I think it's a chutney. Do you want chutney? Why don't you smell it? If it is chutney... Here we go, smell it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I like chutney, so I'm saying stick some chutney on here. Okay. So, I don't think you're going to like this burger, though. So, wait, listen. If you were going to have guests round for dinner, mm-hmm. what would you cook? I think I'd probably go for maybe a steak. Maybe steak. Yeah. A nice fillet steak. Then you can have a bottle of red wine with it, you know, really set the mood. But how do you have your steak, then? I Big question. medium. 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 I know a lot of people like it rare, but... Yeah, medium for me. Fine, okay. So you? nice steak. What about the what about the kind of the would you, what would you put with the steak? I have a double deep fried chips. Okay, yeah. yeah Good works. shout. Or maybe mashed potato. Okay, would you but nice. wait, would you make that yourself or would you go to the shop and buy it already made? The mashed potato? Yeah. Oh no, I'd make it myself. Is yours lumpy though? No. <laughs> I'd make sure that it's all listen, trust me, don't ever doubt my cooking. <laughs> 
and then a nice, some nice veg with it, some Mediterranean veg maybe. Okay, fine. Do you, can you eat like hot sauces and stuff? Are I you... love hot. Hot. Um, I have to have hot. So, <laughs> it's funny, I used to walk around with, not walk around, but when, we'd, around. when we'd have away games, I'd have yeah. a, a small little Tabasco in my bag. No way. And at football, every yeah. every day, I go to the chef and I'm like, can you have the Tabasco, please? Yeah. I have to have everything hot, even a fry-up. Good. So, so I'm, not, I'm not going to like this one, then, if you're going to put all hot sauce in it. I'll make it not too hot. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. I haven't even asked you if you like that, but... No, I haven't. I don't like that, but it's all right. It's okay. You, you will like it, trust me. What, what else? You've got the onions, you've got the lettuce going on, you've got the salsa. Um, what else? I don't think we need anything else. Did you want any, like, any of the barbecue, any of that? No. No, I think... You're the, good. The salsa and the chutney is enough. I don't so, think we need any other... Fine. Any other sauces. Simple. Enough. But yeah, with a effective. kick. Simple yeah. yet effective. Fine. Should we go and uh, get the meat on it? Let's go. I'm saying we should go for the stuff. Yeah. Stuff with stuff a bit of with bacon. With bacon or pulled pork on top. Pulled pork. Yeah. Show your card. So let's tuck in. Let's go. 